Hey, well, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. See how pretty. <laughs> These are looking pretty. Um, <laughs> I got to poke weed and everything over here. Just overgrowing. This is going to be nice, uh, nice soil for next year. Um, if God says the same. So, I think we're in September now. Oh, my neighbor's crab apples are, I got to be careful because these spiders, spider webs at least, and spiders, matter of fact, let me be, let me watch where I am, but yeah, so they're crab apples, I don't know if they're going to, if this is the color, because you know, crab apples are normally reddish oh, okay I see some turning it's it's just been a such a year I mean for us to be in September but um, these crab apples are not okay yeah there, there's a web you, you probably can't see it but there's uh, something stuck in it right there or actually ooh, that's a huge web too oh Anyway, so yeah, I would think that, I thought that they would be uh, ripe by now, but you know, it's just been that kind of year, oh my goodness. So I was sitting down, well, let me not lie, I was laying down, and I dozed off to, to sleep. We're in the month of September now, um, and I said, um, I'm just throwing a date in there for reference. So I thought, um, you know what, I said, let me, because I was planning on coming to my garden tomorrow. I said, let me, because it was too early to sleep and it wasn't anything for me to do. Well, I take that back. It was stuff to do, but it was not something that I wanted to do. I need to shampoo and condition and braid my hair, which is not really a chore anymore because I, I got a tool to help me with it. But because it's still in my brain that it was a chore. It's not the easiest to do. And plus, I have some seeds, uh, garden seeds and stuff that I need to sort through, which is another going to be another chore because it's a lot of them. I bought some rubber bands in order to band them to help with the process. Uh, anyway, I'm just, I would guess I wasn't moving. It was too early to go to sleep, to go to bed, bed, you know. So I said, well, let me just come out here right now. And then... Uh, this will probably give me the edge I need or the the encouragement I need to get my hair done because I really need to get that, uh, do my, rebraid my hair and all of that. So, anyway, so I, I'm out here and I think I got a lot to do. I was going, wanted to get some grapes. I already have some in the freezer for um, jam. Um, I'm going to make some preserves and whatever. But then I, I kept thinking, oh, God, them spiders. Are those spiders going to um, attack me, you know, or whatever? And they smell delicious. So I'm just going to risk it and try to get a couple. I wish I had my glasses on because it would be easier for me to see them. There are some lower hanging fruit um, or whatever, but I do not want to get caught by one of those spiders or entangled in any of their webs or whatever. Um, so, oh, they smell so good. Remind me of my childhood so much. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, so, because I want to make juice. I've already got some. I think I should have enough for maybe 12 pints or so of jam, but I want to make some great juice too. And then having an arbor, a grape arbor, is cool, but, <laughs> oh my goodness, the cleanup, the cleanup, the cleanup, the cleanup. And this is just from the, the fallout of birds and other animals and whatever, uh, and stuff like that. So let's just do a little tiny tour. I have not been out here in a little while. It's been, you know, just raining. I think it's been a, a little over a week. Um, it really doesn't seem like that long. It seems like that long, but I, I don't think I've been, uh, I think I've been out here maybe a week or something. It's been a week or a little over a week. 
uh, but it's been raining, so I hadn't been. I just wasn't bothered to come and water it because it's been. You know, we've been having that little rain every now and again. So I got, you know, I got different marigolds. You got your French and are these cute? I forgot what they call it, but you see they're different though. Um, then I got the African marigold, the Kilimanjaro, doing good. They're busting and bursting and whatever. Now this is where I plan to put my fall garden in. I'm going to remove, basically, I'm going to leave the strawberry in here or I might put the strawberry in something else. But everything else besides the holy basil, because I'm going to harvest that. That is a great medicinal uh, herb, uh, good for teas and making medicines and stuff like that. But you see all a lot of my lettuces and what? Oh, and the parsley. I'm going to leave the parsley in here or either I will move it to somewhere else, you know, moving to something else. But I want to use these for my collards and my, I want to do some cabbage. Um, is it Napa? No, it's Caraflex. Uh, I think it's a dwarf style. Um, I think it's the Caraflex. That's a dwarf style uh, cabbage. Um, so I want to do that. You know, just a, a couple of things I want to put in here um, that I have uh, prepared. So I'm going to use these three um, and anything else that I can tear out. Uh, my watermelon. Uh oh, what the heck was that? Oh, okay. Uh, uh oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what happened to this little tiny watermelon situation? Oh, these. Are these what kind of. Hmm. Now, I don't know if you remember the video I made where I took down, it was a whole stalk. I think this was corn or something. And I took down the stalk. Now it's had, well, I only cut it down a bit. It grew back and it's two now. Um, but anyway, I got a little, little, little tiny um, <laughs> watermelon. It's some, they are midges in it, or, you know, small. Like I got lemon, what was it? Lemon drop and sugar baby. Um, my little cantaloupes, I, they, you know, grew and unleashed themselves from their, um, from the vine and uh yeah i tasted them they were not sweet uh or whatever but it's okay uh my okra is finally taken off thank god uh let me fix this i came out here these two were on the on the ground these are some uh persian uh well not just persian but not persian at all parisian a parisian cucumber and i think the um don't worry, it says Thai, but on the, the real deal it has the real name. So Parisian, and I think the uh, it's either Market Moor or Homemade Pickle. The the one cucumber is called Homemade Pickle. It's either the Homemade Pickle or Market Moor, and then definitely a Parisian um, cucumber. Um, and these might have to go. Well, whatever, um, because you know the cucumber beetle took out everything. All of my cucumbers, I had just pull them out because they were had infested the entire garden. So I just had to get rid of get rid of them. So um, there, I think there's another. Okay, here's one. I was looking for the other um, okra that's in here. So I'm gonna. I think it should be a lot of green beans on here. So, okay, I see them. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get these green beans off of here before they get too long and they're not tasty then. So, um, now this is doing good. I mean, the health of it seems to be good because it came back. Now, you know, this was struck by the, um, the uh, squash vine borer and I did treat it cut it and treat it and carry it on and whatever and uh yeah I mean it did come back or whatever but I only got like three or four uh squash off of it maybe uh, maybe about four to six which were good As a matter of fact I think I have one did I no I think I already yeah I did it because I made a little stir fry you know made a little uh summer squash uh situation but this one I guess it didn't German um didn't want some jiggle, but it's some more on here though. I've been looking out the window, so I've been seeing the uh, open every day. The flowers 
basically open every day. I'm hoping that my mallow comes back because this is another uh, good medicinal, something that I want to utilize or whatever. And then there's some other things in here that are, um, you know, natives or whatever. Another, um, what do you call these marigolds that needs to be deadheaded? Um, my uh, ground cherries, which I'm surprised I don't see a bunch of them on the ground somewhere. But yeah, a bunch of ground cherries. My poor, oh, this needs some. Um, is that a look at this? <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Let me see. Let's see if I can take a picture. You see the two uh, Jiminy, Jiminy Crickets uh, on each other's back? And what I, well, not each other's back, one on another's one's back. And I want to get uh, some of this raspberry leaf because that's another good medicinal tea the raspberry leaf although it's black raspberry whatever um what's what's going on out here what's going on this is stevia um i wish i had plenty more well i don't know if i planted more and just something happened to it or whatever but i wish there was more of it but i'm definitely gonna try to overwinter it or bring it in or whatever so i need I need to water you all of this rain. The rain didn't get everywhere. Ugh. Anyway, my little nasturtium just is not doing pretty good. Then the bergamot here, the wild bergamot. I don't have any of the blooms yet of the echinacea, but I do have, it's, you know, the scent of it and the leaf or whatever. But yeah, I got plenty of uh, raspberry leaf more of this uh, marigold and another one this is I think this is of course the uh, Kilimanjaro either the black uh, not black but or Phyllis my uh, oh I missed um, oh I missed I didn't even see that I missed a um, calendula head because I'm definitely trying to save those so that I can make tincture I want to make a salve and a tincture oh he didn't make it huh but this is one of them white uh, moths oh and the um all of my blooms are gone off my obedient plant I think this is also um medicinal but I can't remember now this has look at all of the blooms that would be on here I wish it would hurry up and they bloom together so that I can use them you know <laughs> that's the crazy thing about that and then my poor what's some jiggum I guess I won't have wait well I say echinacea I didn't really mean I, the wild the bee balm uh, when I mentioned uh, burger the bergamot I'm sorry I, I, I said uh, echinacea but I meant bee balm um, I meant to say um, bee balm when I was speaking of the uh, bergamot sorry so this is the echinacea but I guess I won't get blooms this year unfortunately but I mean the leaves were so massive but I guess that's also my fault for some reason it's in such a low amount of soil poor things so I did get a chance to harvest all of my little um, peppers that were on here. Huge amount of peppers that were on here. Um, I still don't know what they are. I think they're, um, uh, I think they're either the giant jalapeno or they're, um, what does this say? Let me see what this uh, is lying about. Oh, could it be this, okay, it could be the, Serrano Anaheim New Mex Joe that's what it could be it's probably what they are they are huge uh, so if they because I thought they were the giant 
uh, jalapenos, but they really didn't have the shape shape of the jalapeno, so they might be the Anaheim. And these are the uh, door, um, what do you call it? Um, door heel. And I got about three, two or three of those. The, yellow, the color is beautiful. Uh, they're like a yellow orange, almost, as a matter of fact, it's close, uh, almost they get to the color of the uh, sun gold. And then here are some more peppers uh, that need to be harvested. Well, could be, could be not. But I think this is also door heel, um, which is a small little stuffing pepper. And then these are, should be a jalapeno. These are purple green, a purple green color or whatever. I think these are ready to but I guess I won't get the yellow spice unless this is it. Let me see if I can find a tag and there's, that could talk to me. Uh-oh. This is oh, this is what it says. It says the lip. Mm, I don't know what it says. <laughs> it's, it's off of here, but it looks like lemon. Okay, I got July something. The, the date on here. Red, hot. Um... I don't know what that says, but it just looks like it says lemon on there. But I do see the date of July something as well. Let me see if I can find another uh, tag. Mm. Okay, here's one. It's probably faking too. Okay, so yes, this is the door heel. I know that. But that wasn't what I wanted to know. I to know what these are. So pretty and purple. Yeah, I like that. But I think they're going to turn another color. I think they're yellow. I think they're going to... This is definitely, I believe, a jalapeno, though. Uh, just not a tall one. Uh, yes, but nonetheless. So all of my... Well, not all of my tomatoes, but most of my... Um, what do you call these? The sun goats are bird food. <laughs> they have... They are basically split. They can still be taken off because I actually have a spaghetti sauce, a spaghetti squash that I planned on making into a, making baking today and making a nice pasta sauce for them. But yeah, a lot of them are split um, and whatever, but still able to be harvested and made into a nice sauce. But I see that my what do you call it um mr fumarole which i i don't know i had so many tomatoes last year i assumed that one of the tomatoes that i had i mean that this was a um what do you call it a uh cherry tomato but they're not cherry tomatoes and they're pink they have a really pr pink pretty color when they uh turn and they're good oh my goodness i think i'm gonna get these because one of them almost looks like it's split at the top so i see tomatoes are still trying to come on come on and whatever like i do every year basically i'm such a rebel in the garden which i'm trying to reform myself oh this poor baby i know you're gonna come in to uh this um come in for the winter because it's, it's just one thing. It doesn't, I'm sure it doesn't get enough of anything. That little tomato, that's that one of the Quinquito or whatever, that little Dominican uh, pepper. Um, but yeah, and then that ox blood, uh, ox heart, oh my God, those two were the sweetest. They must be in my garden. And it's an Italian paste heirloom too. So it must be a yearly something in my garden for real. Oh, more of these um, deer marigolds. Um, I'm trying to see if anything else is on this one core thing. And my things were nice and bushy. One thing, another thing I will not do at the advice of anyone is um, that, uh, what do you call it, pruning of my tomatoes ever again. Because everybody always says, oh, prune every day. Every time I do it, 
and I don't I guess I'm too aggressive or whatever every time I do it my tomatoes don't do that well I'm just gonna let them stay bushy the way I always have and the way I like it I'm not gonna do that no more I did that twice in the, in the uh, you know in a row and they just didn't do well at all after the pruning you know I, of course I'll get some from the lower area that might you know you know get too close to the although I do mulch um, but I, I'm not gonna do it like I used to um, oh one of my butterflies are on <laughs> oh where are you oh okay one of my my little butterfly is glowing so pretty oh, you know what let me take a picture of that that's a good um little background <laughs> So I got my fever few, which I think I should harvest, but I'm not sure. I really thought my chamomile would come back uh, stronger after I um, did a little harvest of it. But I guess, um, I guess. So even my hyssop, well, it's okay, but so yeah. And then these are two different. Uh, the cardinal and the African uh, basils. Oh, more calendula. Mm, okay, very good, Saida. Good girl, good girl. This is fever fuel, isn't it? Oh, God, it smells good, but kind of not, not good. It almost smells like a, a towel that's gone a little sour a little bit, but... Uh, but sometimes when it's blowing in the wind, it smells so good out here. <gasps> what is, oh, okay. That's um, holy basil. I was getting ready to get happy. I thought it was uh, bergamot uh, finally getting ready to do something. Here's a tiny little Max Gold uh, summer squash. Those are good, too. I put them all together and uh, made me a little summer squash. You know, grit, you know. Um, oh, oh. I should have showed you guys the geese. Oh, I said geese, but I meant to say geese. The geese are, uh, they're in a formation of a V. Are you guys flying south? <laughs> this, I think I got about three of these um, scallop um, wasmajigums. Oh, look at, there's another one. It's glowing as well. That's the dragonfly. It's also... And then here's another okra that's trying to give me blooms. Well, trying to give me fruit. It is giving me blooms already. More, uh, more um, different basils. Of course, um, lemon balm. Lemon balm. Oh God, lemon balm smells so good. I'm really gonna enjoy that uh, lemonade tea. And whatnot. So, and then I might get a couple of uh, ping tong long um, eggplants. It's possible. And my only Cosmo that's living, I think. They, I had some really pretty ones that were called Sensation. Uh, Sensation. Uh oh, it's getting dark. I, I wonder if I'm gonna get the uh, grapes that I want. Uh, Sensation, and they were pinks, different pinks and, and whites and whatever. But I do have this yellow. I forgot the name of this one. Um, I forgot the name of it. So, yeah, I might not get everything I, that, come, that I came out here to do or whatever. And I might just come back out um, another day because it is actually um, getting dark now. But this is pretty anyway. Very pretty, very pretty, very pretty, very nice. Yep, it's been a minute since I came out, so. Uh, and I got onions uh, that I need to, I guess I'm going to let these stay and see how big they're going to get, actually. And let's see here. I wanted to, yeah. So that's what we have here. That's, that's all, folks. Um. It's just not a lot, you know, I mean, the, the year just has been something else, you know, but it is well. I think I thank God uh, for his uh, grace and mercy. Anyway, um, 
for the food that we did get in debt, the things that we were able to produce and produce and enjoy and witness and everything. So, thank God for that. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're growing. Uh, whatever it may be. <laughs> Let me know. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.